Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the BigQuery public data sets. Um, there are a whole bunch of public data sets that you have access to in BigQuery that will be a good resource for you for learning SQL. And I'm going to show you those now. So if you go to add data here, and you come to public data sets, it, you can look up information about all of the public data sets that are available. Looks like there's 241. Um, and I, I'm not sure. I think some of these are managed by Google, and some of them are managed by other people, but they're tables that you have access to. Uh, some of them are completely free and I think won't get charged against your $300, but you do have $300 of credit to, to query these tables and, and learn. So there's some cool stuff in here. There's COVID data, Algorand, on-chain, like blockchain data, um, birds data, Bitcoin, there's all sorts of interesting data sets in here that you can practice with and create little dashboards and learn SQL that we're going to be uh, be using. But anyways, to get access to these, what you have to do is come over here in the search bar and type public, hit enter, and then hit broaden search to all. And then it says this BigQuery public data here. So just star this, then hit the X here. And then you've got BigQuery public data as another uh, thing here. And so if you expand this, these are all the different data sets that you have available. Uh, like I said in the last video, there's kind of like a project ID, which in, in this case would be the BigQuery public data. And then there's all these different data sets that you have available. And then if you expand these, there's a bunch of tables that you have available to query underneath each of these. Um, so for example, I don't know, Austin waste, there's just one table waste and diversion. Um, here's that table. I'm not exactly sure what we'd have to look into the documentation about like what this data actually means, but this is how you explore it. Like waste and diversion is a table here. Uh, these are the columns, rows. There's 740,000 rows in this table. Um, so yeah, this is all of those data sets we saw earlier. So this will give you some some stuff to practice on. Uh, I would, uh, in the next video, I'm going to be talking about BigQuery pricing and how that works exactly so we can, uh, uh, you know, not burn through our $300 of free credit too fast by querying a huge table in here. Um, so, yeah, see you in the next one.